Now to the funeral for Father Joe Moreno. Hundreds gathered for a final goodbye to the beloved priest in Buffalo today. Father Moreno left behind many faithful friends and followers. News 4's Rich Newberg has more on today's mass of remembrance and reflection. People in need, wherever there was a need, he was always willing to respond and try to do kindness towards other people. And it's carried out through his priesthood. St. Margaret's Church was filled to capacity 45 minutes before the mass of Christian burial began at 10 a.m. with longtime friend of Father Joe Moreno, Auxiliary Bishop Edward Grosh, serving as the principal celebrant. Buffalo firefighters flew the flag as a special tribute. Law enforcement and other first responders turned out in great numbers to say goodbye to a man who brought them comfort in their times of need. He was there for every officer that needed help, counseling, whether an officer involved in shooting, whether it was a sickness in a family. Father Joe was there. He was there for everybody. He brought hope to people. He brought God to people, said one of his classmates who went through the seminary with him, Father Joseph Porpelia, who delivered the homily. Memories were vivid. Uh, his smile, uh, pictures of him uh, delivering pizzas to people. <laughs> He always loved people and he always reached out and brought the love of Christ to people wherever he met them, in the nursing home or the hospital, people at home that were sick that needed him, he would be there for them. Periodically, applause could be heard coming from the church, a rare occurrence during a funeral. So many celebrated the life of a man they truly loved and his mission on earth. I really believe God coached him into doing so many of the wonderful things that he has accomplished. He's an ideal priest. Father Joe's twin sister Susan spoke after communion and told his life story. She said he knew he would become a priest even in grade school.